بسم الله والحمد لله ونصلي ونسلم على رسول الله أما بعد so we've reached the lesson so last lesson we we've reached the lesson اللغة العربية so last lesson we covered is it لغة القرآن لغة القرآن الكريم نعم طيب so the, the last lesson we were we look at the text نعم we were doing mainly first person verbs I study I memorize etc طيب <coughs> so I'll, I'll read this once and then I'll get you guys to read it again بسم الله اللغة العربية يقول علي أنا طالب ماليزي جئت إلى الجامعة الإسلامية قبل أربع سنوات لأدرس اللغة العربية والعلوم الإسلامية الحمد لله أنا أتكلم الآن اللغة العربية جيدا وأقرأ الكتب العربية وأفهم القرآن الكريم وأحفظه وكذلك أحفظ أحاديث الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم وأفهمها درست في الجامعة كثيرا من أنواع اللغة العربية مثل القراءة والنحو والصرف والتعبير والإملاء طيب uh, so Azan, if you want to read the first part, so read the first sentence. <laughs> أتكلم الآن لغة العربية جيدا وأقرأ وأقرأ الكتب كتب كتب العربية وأفهم القرآن الكريم وأحفظه وكذلك أحفظ أحاديث رسول صلى الله عليه وسلم وأفهمها نعم أبو يوشع درست في الجامعة كثيرا من من فروع فروع اللغة العربية اللغة العربية مثل القراءة والنحو والصرف والصرف والتعبير والتعبير نعم والإملاء والإملائي طيب so, we'll go through it by bit. طيب يقول علي so, أثان, أنا طالب ماليزي I am a student from Malaysia لا تأبي أنا طالب من ماليزيا uh, I am a student uh, Malaysia <laughs> 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 you haven't actually answered the question. So if you look, Talib Maliziyun, Talibun Malizi is Manrut and that. Oh, yes. So it would be, I am a, a Malaysian student. I am a Malaysian student. Now, Jitu. From the word Ja'a, either Ja'a Nasrullahi, Ja'a, to come. Okay. 
So uh, this is fi'al madi, so it's past tense. Have come, uh, uh, come to the university. Jittu, I came. I came to the university, yes. Um, I came, jittu ila al jami'at al islamiyya qabla arba'i sanawatin. Uh, so I came to the Islamic University. Qabla arba'i. Is qabla learn? Qabla, before. Before. No, before. Qabla, and then we have ba'da. Qabla and ba'da, before and after. Arba'i. Sanawat. Sanawatin. Arabic uh, college, is it? Arabic? No. Arba' sanawat. Wahid ithnan thalatha arba'. Azan. Yes. Wahid. Ma ma'na wahid? One. Ithnan thalatha arba'. Uh, one uh, wahid is less than that. What does sanawat mean? Is it prayer? No, salawat. Sanawat. Yes. Okay. The plural of sanatun. Oh, yes. Yes. So I came to the Islamic University qabla, before arba'i sanawat. Four years. Four years. Four years ago. Oh, yes, it's number. Oh, I couldn't call only. Okay, yes, four years ago, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Here it says, Li Remember, yesterday, we done this lam. Yes. It's ta'leel, which means uh, for the reason. Lam ta'leel, for the reason. And it, when it enters upon a fi'al mudari', we say yansib al fi'al mudari'. It makes the fi'al mudari' in the present tense take a fatha. It hmm. should be adrusu. But because of this lam, say li adrusa. So I came to the same university four years ago to study. Study. <coughs> Naam. Carry on. Al lughat al arabiyyata. The Arabic language. Wal uloom al islamiyya. And uh, uh, Islamic. Uloom uh, is not law, is it? No, uloom, it would be the plural of ilm. So it's it usually translates as sciences, okay. the Islamic sciences. So all the different fields like Quran, Hadith, uh, Sharia, etc. طيب عبد القيم الحمد لله أنا أتكلم الآن اللغة العربية جيدا. All praise to Allah. Now I can understand. لا لا أتكلم. I can speak. I can speak now. I can speak Lugat al Arabiya, Arabic language, very well. Naam, jayidan, very well. Wa aqra al kutuba al Arabiyata. And I can write. La. Read. Naam, read. I can read the books in Arabic language. I can read Arabic books. I can read Arabic books. Books and Manautunat, what F. Hamel Quran al Karima, what I the Quran, what I follow. And from the verb Hafiza to memorize, I follow, I memorize. So F. Ham, what I follow. So here it's. The Quran and I can I memorize. Naam. So here we have atakallamu, aqra'u, afhamu, ahfadu. And again, so all these are first person verbs. So I I so the first atakallamu I speak, aqra'u I read, afhamu I understand, ahfadu I memorize. Naam. Abu Yusha, darastu. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, we're carrying on. No, wakadhalika. No, oh, sorry. So, wakadhalika 
أحفظ ال... Likewise. نعم أحفظ ال... أحاديث الرسول أحفظ أحفظ دبي and likewise I memorize I memorize the hadith of رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم نعم so أحاديث is جمع حديث نعم we have حديث أحاديث would be the plural أحاديث نعم صلى الله عليه وسلم وأفهمها and I understand them and I understand them نعم جيد كذلك if we break down the word كذلك then it's we would say it's sorry yeah we have we have a كاف زائد ذلك sorry زائد ذلك يساوي كذلك Now, so كذلك, it's, it's comprised of two words. We have this kaf, and then we have ذلك, and we put the two together, and it, it becomes كذلك. So you know what ذلك means, don't we? Yes. It means that, but what does this kaf mean? Okay, this kaf is called uh, يفيد التشبيه. So you add it to words when when you want to resemble something with another thing. Like for example, if I was to say "Ahmadu uh, ka Muhammadin," what does it mean? Ahmad looks like Muhammad. It just means Ahmad is like Muhammad, and this kaf is also it's harfu jar, like fi ala ila min. So we say. So we would say, for example, uh, we would say, Ahmad, Ahmadu, ka Muhammadin. What's that a meme here? Ka Muhammadin. Okay, it would take a. It would take a cast. Like, like for example, uh, uh, so, so for example, Allah says in the Quran, an ayah which we all know, or we all should know, memorized. Uh, Abu Yusha, Mojud. Yes. Um, if you want to read this, what I'm what, what I'm writing. Read this part. Laysa kamithli shayun. Laysa kamithlihi shayun. Shay um, Laysa kamithlihi shayun. So in this ayah, Allah is saying Laysa, which is a negation. Mithluhu, Mithluhu means like who? Like him. No. Shay'un means anything. So Allah is saying there is nothing, ka, which is, uh, which means tashbi, resembles him. Laysa ka mithlihi shay'un. So Allah is saying there is nothing like him. I nothing at all resembles him. Because of this kaf, kaf tashbih. And we see here, it, it makes the word take a kasra. Laysa ka mithlihi shay'un. Naam. So, also, for example, if I was to say, uh, azan. If you read this sentence, kitabi. Uh, if I was to say, kitabi. My book is like your book. Yeah, kitabi ka kitabi ka ka kitabi ka. My book is like your book. Oh, for example, saari ka saati ka. My saati ka saati ka. My watch is just like your watch. How do you say the tashbih? What do you mean? How do you say it? I mean, write it, sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you would say... So, we, yeah, you, you studied this. We do. We, we cover this in book two. Uh, 
we say Tashvihun. Looks more like a, a thought than a, yeah, Tashvihun. At Tashabu. So over here, Wakazalika is referring to uh, similar to uh, what, Adam? Yeah, so so when we translate it, Wakazalika Ahfadu, it's like, and so how did you translate Abdul Qayyum? You translated it as? I, I said likewise. Like, yeah, you would translate it as like, see, likewise means similar. But it literally means like, Kadarika, like just like that. Because it's uh, there, the means that, and ka means resembles. All right. You 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 hear this a lot in the Quran. Wakadarika, wakadarika jalna kum ummatan wasata. Um, and the kaf, the ka, it's it's in many places in the Quran. Kada bi adi fir'aun wa ladina min qablihim. Um, you just gotta look out for it. Taib, Abu Yusha, Darastu fil jami'ati kathiran. At university, I studied uh, uh, a lot of the branches. Um, so, furu' is the plural of faru'un. Uh, faru'un, which means a branch. So, you can say furu' al shajara, the branches of a tree. Or furur, or the branches of like a business as well. Furur sharika. So the branches, a lugat of a lugat al Arabi. So furur is madaf, a lugat madaf on ilay al Arabiya. Mithlu, like among them, or, or yeah. Yeah, he's given examples. Al al qira'a. Al qira'a, the reading. Wa nahwi. Grammar. Grammar. Okay. What was sarfi and morphology? Morphology, <laughs> mashallah. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> have, have, I, have I spelt it right? Morphology, that's good. Yeah, morphology. What yeah. ta'biri an expression? What imla and dictation? Dictation, like thank you, uh, Google Translate. Yeah, full stops and everything. <laughs> So, so, so we, we know all the ways now. And nahu, nahu literally means. So if you were to say nahwa, it means mithlu, like example. Uh, so nahu, why why did they call uh, Arabic grammar nahu? Because every time. We have, uh, you, you'll, you'll start to see this uh, later on in, in, I think, book three. Every time they give an example, they will write a grammar point and then they would say, Nahwa. They will say, Nahwa, example. which means example, and then they will give an example of that rule. Mm -hmm. So, because, min katharati isti'mari kalima Nahwa, so because they use this word Nahu a lot, Given examples, given examples, it became known as Nahu. Um, is that understood? Yes. yes. Okay, so that, that's for like general. So Nahu would be like, uh, you know, Mudaf, Mudaf, Ilay, Man'ut, Wanat. But Sarf is the, th is the thing which we uh, pay a lot of it, attention to. So Sarf is like the way the words end. Do they end with a fatha? Do they end with a dhamma? Do they end with a kasra? Um, so we have the examples or the actual grammar rules, and sarf is the the way the words end, or or the way nahu affects the words, etc. Mm -hmm. Okay, ta'bir. Ta'bir we translate as we do the book ta'bir expression. So ta'bir who uh and you add biru al maru ma fi kalbihi ala nisanihi. So, tabir definition is that a person can express 
that which is in his heart upon his tongue. Then, well, imla. Okay, imla being, you know, all the full stops and where do we put uh, this, this, so all of this would be imla, these things, the colons, semicolons, the yeah, brackets, etc. We, we, we are going to go through that book because it's quite important. And it's very small anyway. No, it's very, the book of Imla, it's very simple. Uh, do we understand this text then? Yes. No, all that's left is to memorize the words. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Understanding something that's in front of you is one thing, but then uh, memorize it's another thing. So answer the following questions. Also, we have Rubaid is here as well. Yeah. Rubaid, Mata Jaa Aliyun ila al Madinati al Munawarati. So Mata would be when Jaa. So the answer would be, so we would start here and we would say, Jaa Aliyun ila al Madina til Manawarati Kabala Arbari Sanawatin Kabala Arbari Sanawatin. Now, Azan, Hal Fahima Aliyun, we have a mistake here, two fathas, get rid of those. Hal Fahima Aliyun al Qurana al Karima. So, uh, hal would be does. Fahima, ma ma'ana fahima? Fahima is uh, understand. Naam, to understand. Naam. So, that, hal fahima aliyun al Qur'ana al Karima? Uh, naam. Naam. So, no, we would say, so we would say naam, kama, and then we would say this. Fahima. Naam. Naam, Jade. So we say Naam, Fahima Adiyun Al Qurana Al Karima. So we'd write that part, this part, from here all the way here. Naam, Fahima Adiyun Al Qurana Al Karima. Uh, Azan, yes. why does Al Quran have a fatha and why does Ali have dhammas? Because uh... Ali understands the Quran. <laughs> so Ali is the one who's doing it. So it has a, uh, it has a Dhamma. Yes, yes, that's good. <clears throat> and the Quran has the Fatha, why? Because uh, he, the, the verb is for the Quran. Naam, the, or the action of the verb falls on the Quran. Naam, Jaid. Uh, Abu Yusha, Mada Tarasta? من فروع اللغة العربية. درست. سأبي درست. درست أنا أنا درست. درست من الفروع من الفروع اللغة العربية. النحو مثل مثل القراءة. والنحوي والنحوى والنحوى نعم بكس أو مثل القراءة والنحوي نعم جيد أوكي that's good ضعف ضعف من ليه والصرف والتعبير والإملاء نعم or you could just what I wrote درست النحوى والصرف والتعبير والقراءة والإملاء نعم جيد but your answer was better because of the Misla, that is why uh, it has a fatha. Pardon? Because, no, I mean, yours is different from uh, Abu Yusha's because... Yeah. Because... Yeah. 
mentioned Mithla. That yeah, should... yeah, yeah, that's right. So he mentioned Mithla. So Mithil here would be Madaf. And, and then all of those that came after it are Madaf and Madaf Neely. That's why they have uh, Kasaras. But because I didn't say Mithla, then they have a Fatha, because then they will be Maf'ul and Bihi. Jade, Istabdil Kamathil Mithalain. So we have. Naam, so we have Anatadibun Hindiyun. So we have the word Asin between the brackets. So we have to say Anatadibun Siniyun. So what he's trying to say is Hind. So we have Hind, which means India. When you want to say Indian, we add a ya with a shadda on it. Indian, which means Indian. Okay. It's called ya linesabo uh, nispa. Uh, like, for example, um, uh, Yehud. Yehud, which means uh, Jew. Or Yehud. Jews, and then when we add the ya to it, it becomes Yehudiyun. It becomes what? Jewish. Okay. You know, we say India, Indian. Mm -hmm. Britain, British. America, American. So by adding this, uh, the ya, then we make it, uh, I'm not sure what the English terminology is, to be honest. So we would say, uh, we would say Al Hind and a Taribun Hindiyun. I'm an Indian. Like, for example, you would say Hadihi uh, Sa'atun Hindiyatun. This is an Indian watch. Or Hada Baytun Hindiyun. This is an, an Indian house. Now, so a scene, so we would say Ana Taribun Siniyun. I am a Chinese student. Marizia. Anataribun Mariziyun. So all we do, we add this ya with a shadda. Mariziyun. I'm a, a Malaysian student. So we're going to do the same with uh, these words. So we have Al Urdun, Al Kamirun. So Urdun is what? Jordan, Jordan, Cameroon, Cameroon, which is Cameroon now. So, uh, Abdul Qayyum, if you want to do the first one, you say Ana Talibun, Ana Talibun Urduun, Urdiyun, no, Ur, no, no, sorry, it'd be Urda Niyun, Urda Niyun, Ana Talibun Urduniyun. I am a, I am a Jordanian. Student Jordanian Nam Anatadibun Urdunian Nam Kasim Rebaid Rebaid Kema Kemirunun Kemirun Switch your mic and leave it on. Ana Talibun Ana Talibun Al Kamiruniyu. No, you wouldn't say Al, we forget the Al. Ana Talibun Kamiru Kamiruniyu. Kamiruniyu. Ana Talibun Kamiruniyu. I'm a Cameroonian student. Cameroonian. Abu Yusha, Turkey. أنا طالب تركي أنا طالب تركي نعم تركي أنا طالب تركي أزان فرنسا أنا طالب فرنسي نعم أنا طالب فرنسي نعم أبو قيوم السنغال أنا طالب سني سني قالي 
نعم أنا طالب سنغالي نعم سنغال نعم سنغاليز نعم أنا طالب سنغالي أبو يوشع باكستان أنا طالب باكستاني باكستاني نعم أنا طالب باكستاني جيد أزان اليابان أنا طالب ياباني نعم أنا طالب ياباني جيد عبيد إندونيسيا أنا طالب إندونيسيا أنا طالب إندونيسي نعم جيد أنا طالب إندونيسي أنا طالب إندونيسي Are there any other countries like, okay, we have uh, Bangladesh, Abu Qayyum, you would say? Ana Talibun Bangladesiyun. Ana Talibun, they actually say Bangladesiyun. Bangladesh or Bangladesiyun. No. Uh, Abu Yusha, a Suwaid? Ana Talibun Suwaidiyun. Suwaidiyun. No, I'm tired. Azan, Britannia. What? Britannia. Uh, ana Talibun Britanniyun. Naam. Uh, Ubaid. Um, America. Ana Taliban American. Ameriki. Ana Talibun Amerikiyun. Naam. Abu Yusha. Bolanda. Ana Talibun Bolandiyun. Bolandiyun. Poland. Naam. Polish. جميل التدريب الرابع ضع علامة صح أمام أمام الكلمات الصحيحة. So we have to put a tick next to the these words which would go in this blank space. So after you share, if you want to do the first one, you read it and then put one of these in. الحمد لله أنا لا 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 هنا هنا أوه oh, top sorry نعم قرأت الحديث الحديث ال ال النبوية النبوية النبوي is what we just done up here yes نبي نبوية so it'd be like prophetic prophetic حديث نعم و Uh, so yahfadhu yahfadhu means to 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 memorize la yahfadhu means he he oh. memorizes it hafiz no. to who i no. memorized it and ahfadhu ha i memorize them so hafiz uh, to نعم so it would be this one حفظته وحفظته جيدا نعم so it would be this one وحفظته جيدا so I memorized the prophetic hadith and I mem sorry I read the hadith and I memorized it well جيدا نعم أزان الحمد لله Alhamdulillah, Ana, uh, because as Ana, it can't be Afhamu. Yafhamu means he understands. Um, that's he, the yeah. person. So Ana, because there's Ana, Afhamu won't happen, so it should be Nafhamu. Nafham, Nafham, the noon here stands mm -hmm. for Nahnu, which is we. Oh, okay, so it's going to be Afhamu then. Well, there's only one left, as an so yeah. <laughs> it could have been Alhamdulillahi Afhamu. Okay. It, that, that's what it is. Alhamdulillahi Afhamu Al Quran Al Karim. Afham, I understand. No, like uh, Ana is over there in the sentence. So the yeah. sentence without the Ana as well. Yes, yes. So you could just you could just write Alhamdulillahi Afhamu Al Quran Al Karim. So, Anna is um, Ana, I. 
And yeah. Afro is also I understand. So it's I, I understand. No. So if, if this wasn't here, if Anna wasn't here, then it could have been any of the other two. Okay, yes. It, it would have been Alhamdulillah, Yafhamu. Like, all praise is for Allah. He understands the Quran. Or it could have been all praise to Allah. We understand the Quran. But because Anna is there, it has to be only this one. Okay. So Alhamdulillah, Afhamu Al-Qur'an, Afhamu Al-Qur'an Al-Kareem. Now, Ubaid. Next one. Darastu Al-Qira'ata Kazam. Kazalika Darastu Al-Nahwa. Now, so it would be Darastu Al-Qira'ata. I studied uh, reading وَكَذَلِكَ دَرَسْتُ النَّحْوَ and, and I also studied a Nahu grammar. Jade, وَكَذَلِكَ أَوْ يُشَعْ جِئْتُ Have you done one or it's Abdul Qayyum, Abdul Qayyum, Fadal. جِئْتُ إِلَى هُنَا قَبْلَ Sana Saatin. Saatin. Um, um, I went. La Jitu. La Jitu. Any fail, Mali. It's past tense. Ja to come. Oh, I came. I came ila huna to here. Yep. Uh, kabla before saati before an hour. No, so I, I I came here an hour ago. No. An hour ago. No, I came here kabla saa an hour ago before one hour. Taib, that concludes that lesson. And Taib, any questions? No, exactly. Yeah. So if you remember the kadarika, what it means, like. it's just the calf. Sorry, it's a calf plus dharika equals kadarika. Now, if you can find, do us a favor. If you, uh, do us a favor. As homework, if you can find kadalika in the Quran and also see if you can find kaf by itself. So kaf will normally this will be connected to a word. Okay. This will be connected to any other word. And the way you'll be able to find the word if the other, if the word that it's connected to has a kasra. If they have kasras or two kasratan or one kasra. Now Jayid. <clears throat> Any questions? Hal min su'al? La. La. Jayid. Tayyib, jazakam Allah khayran. Sallallahu ala rabina Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum salam. Wa alaikum salam.